because this was Elgin in Moray first thing this morning, an amazing photograph. And what was even more amazing, you can see actually the planets lining up almost in relation to Earth, but it was a very brief window of clear skies up into the far northeast of Scotland, close to Elgin, because we've seen some very heavy rainfall today across Northern Ireland and into Western Scotland. But it is rattling through at quite a pace. It's already pushing off into the North Sea and behind it, quite a clearance, some sunny spells coming through. So all change into the afternoon for many of us. That weather front grinding to a halt through the spine of the country, masking the morning sunshine across East Anglia, but weakening all the time. So a band of cloud and nuisance drizzly rain for the end of the day. But some sunshine coming through the further west, so a beautiful afternoon across parts of Cornwall and into Wales as well. Then we bump into the cloud from that dying frontal system. A lot of low cloud, a lot of drizzle, maybe even some poor visibility, some hill fog. But temperatures again mild into the mid-teens. A decent afternoon then across northwest England into Northern Ireland and Scotland. What a difference into the afternoon. That rain clears away, the sunshine comes through and temperatures peaking at 9 to 13 Celsius. Now the front will gradually meander its way off into the North Sea through the early part of the evening and then overnight it's only going to be replaced by another pulse of wet weather, some of it quite heavy and the wind's quite a feature across the southwest after midnight, across Cornwall stretching up into Wales, gradually drifting its way north and east. For Scotland and Northern Ireland, particularly Scotland, clearer skies here in sheltered glens. We could actually see a touch of frost as temperatures get low enough and some patchy fog as well. But the talking point tomorrow will be that grim start across the bulk of England and Wales in particular through the southwest, stretching up through the Wales, the Midlands, gradually drifting its way north and east, maybe brushing eastern fringes of Northern Ireland and southern and eastern Scotland for a time here, not quite as heavy. And behind it, again, quite a clearance, a little more cloud though I suspect for tomorrow and a few isolated showers. Highs of 12 to 17 degrees. So again, still mild. And this mild theme continues into the weekend. We still keep the winds from a southerly direction, dragging in this milder air from Europe. So it bodes well for the final day of October. Halloween, of course, great conditions for trick-or-treating. A few isolated showers, perhaps. Bit of a question mark as to the possibility of some fog in the southeast. But certainly, Saturday night into Sunday morning, more fog around. That will be slow to lift. And when it does so, a little more cloud, I suspect, on Sunday. But all in all, not looking bad. Good deal of dry weather for the weekend. Thank you, Louise.